This is the Mosh Pit Backstage Podcast for punk, metal and rock interviews and segments. Hey guys, this is Cash from the Mosh Pit on Sin. Um, I'm here joined by Herman Lee, the guitarist of power metal band Dragon Force. Herman, how are you today? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. A little tired, but I'm fantastic. Um, now, Herman, you guys have your new album coming out, Reaching Into Infinity, May 19th, which I'm totally excited for. Um, how, is, how is the recording process? And Are you guys still putting in the finishing touches, or would you say it's done by now? Um, the album's done. We um, delivered the album a few weeks ago, and you know all the music and the DVD stuff that comes with the special edition. And um, we're really happy. You know, um, it, it was a long process. It's always great to finish an album, and now we're just waiting for it to re- to be released so we can you know hear what the fans say about it. You know? Yeah, it's always good to hear the feedback. But with, you know what they say after spending so many months doing something like that. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm really excited to uh, hear it myself. And I mean, was it? Um, would you say it's a different sound to what you've created before, or is it going for more of a uh, older Dragon Force vibe um, sort of thing? I would say it's a continuation um, of of what um, of the last our Maximum Overload. Um, Dragon Force always try to evolve and you know continue evolving our sound. So I think it's a natural progression as you know, the band being kind of continues to go through every album. And this is just, um, I would say, another step and another chapter to um, to what we've been doing. Yeah. Awesome. So we kind of expect a bit of an evolution and a continuation of what's been happening with Dragon Force so far? Yeah. So, um, you know, we do have a few things that people haven't heard, of course, on it. So that's that's where the evolution comes from. Um, I know a lot of friends, a lot of fans been asking, hey, why don't you guys make this massive, long, epic, you know, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, yeah. half an hour song. <laughs> so we haven't done a half an hour song, but we have done a really long, epic song that, you know, um, that we've been thinking about and we finally achieved it. So um, I think fans would be really happy to hear something like that. You know, just to bring a, another bigger, epic Dragon Ball sound. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm totally excited to listen to that. I mean, I love listening to like those kind of, you know, 10 to 15 minute ballads where it's just, you know, it keeps going and it's just an epic wild journey. And I mean, that's personally, that's how I feel a lot of your songs are, which it's exciting to see that kind of extend a bit further. Now, with that, you guys planning to maybe play a lot of the new songs while you're on tour? I know you're on tour coming down to Australia in June. What, what can the fans expect while you're on tour? Um, of course, we have to play new songs because this is the new album tour. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> I always think Dragon Force albums make good songs, so people won't have a problem with us playing new songs. Yeah. And, but at the same time, you know, we, we, never, we, never, we, never go, we never do a show without some of the favorite songs that fans want to hear from the old album. So we're going to do that because we haven't done a headline tour in Australia for since 2009. Oh, so it's wow. been a while. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we've had, yeah, yeah. you know, this kind of headlining tour for a while. Yeah. yeah so, no. gonna hear so you must be really excited to be headlining again as well? Yeah, because, um, you know, we've done headlining shows, but they were so, they were part of the Soundwave side shows back then. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you guys were last here in 2015, is that right? Yeah, so we did do a headline show, just one then, and then a, a a uh, few side shows of Judas Priest, yeah. but not actually. Yeah. So this is um, this is really cool, and on top of that, we get to do it right away after the album comes out awesome. instead of waiting. Yeah, so that, yeah. that that's cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's really, I, I think the timing is actually really nice with the album coming out and then you guys get to go on tour and um, I saw you also just announced kind of like a, a slight Asia tour as well. You're going to, I think, Hong Kong and Japan, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, because Australia is so far away, I can't handle doing the the twenty four hours flight. Go to Japan and then Hong Kong to break up the journey. But um, I'm glad that we get to put Australia at the beginning instead of you know doing Europe, you know again doing Europe, US, everywhere else first, and then yeah. you guys get the last part. Um, it's good to 
you know, tour for the new album like it's actually really the new album tour. You don't have to wait for a year, you know? Yeah, no, that's... Um, so that would be really exciting to get you guys, you know, you're fresh starting the tour and everything. And I I totally understand what you mean as well with the 24-hour flights. That is a, is a crazy amount of time to travel. <laughs> um so this is your seventh studio album and i mean i know you guys have been a band for about 18 years now um so what, what's it like to have played you know power metal for so long and doing live shows for so long um how, do, how does that feel kind of especially with the evolution of music um over the years over the last 20 years or so i think um, with the evolution of technology and everything on top of it um it never it never feels the same it never feels boring you know the show now we got integrated last tour with maximum overload we had integrated video screens and everything led screen you know synchronized images and all that stuff yeah. and pre early shows you don't have that you got different kind of vibe we had like big platform to jump on trampolines to jump on you know so yeah. you know now it's, now it's never the same so you're not going oh you're doing another tour it's you know we have new songs and it's going to be a different kind of show different kind of different kind of energy yeah so um it never gets boring for me Okay, yeah. awesome. And like, how does that affect, uh, say, your with, with obviously with the technological advances? How does that uh, affect your album writing or like what you guys can do? I mean, compared to the first album, which I believe was two thousand three, um, I mean, it must be a completely different thing from like back then to now, right? Um, not so much difference then, um, to be honest, because uh, music. Um, you know, we still use, we record it using a computer, and now we still record using a computer. You know, onto the hard drive, and then. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> it's like us, the software you use to record the music is still very old. Yeah. You know, I'm using a Mac, which is old, old software because um, the new software doesn't. You know, it doesn't make that much difference to music like us because we're not playing electronic music. Yeah. You know, it's mainly just recording, like a tape recording yeah. on it. You know, it, we don't and. Uh, so um, not so much difference for us, yeah. Okay, so the process is still the same. That, that's pretty cool. Um, it's it's nice that you don't have to learn too many new crazy things. It's just like, yeah, we can still do the same thing, <laughs> which is cool. Um, and Herman as well, I uh, note, noted that uh, Mark Hudson, your, your singer, he was had to be taken off tour last year or, or was asked to be taken off tour by his doctor. Is that right? Yeah, he missed a few shows um, last summer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, I think it was just kind of a tired exhaustion thing. He couldn't sleep, and you know he couldn't function. You know something yeah. like that. So he was just tired, and and it was it was it's better for his health. You know he just course. take a break because driving was pretty brutal. Um, but you know luckily we had a friend that helped us out. Yeah, so so, that, so he's know. he's doing a bit better now. That um, I mean I, that was probably a while ago now, but he, he's doing better. Yeah, he's fully recovered now. He's ready for the world tour, so he's excited awesome. to. The gal, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's really awesome. And I mean, um, my last question, I guess, I had just with regards to uh, Mark was that did that impact your album recording at all with, with with him having to sit out for a bit, or was that kind of before the process happened? Um, it happens before the okay. you know the vocal recording, so it didn't make much difference on on that front. Yeah. Okay. No, that, that's mm-hmm. really good. So. That's that's nice to hear that it didn't really affect anything or it couldn't delay anything, and it's glad I'm glad to hear that he's doing well as well. Um, all right, Herman, I think that's that's about it that I'll, I have for you today. Thank you so much for ta- taking the time to take the call. I'm really excited for the new album, by the way. We've been listening to the Mosh Pit on Sin with Herman Lee. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Mosh Pit Backstage Podcast. You can subscribe to us on iTunes and Omni. To find out more about the show, go to www.syn.org.au slash moshpit. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash moshpitonsin and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at moshpitsin. The regular Mosh Pit radio show broadcasts punk, rock and male tunes and interviews every Thursday nights on Sin 9.7 on FM and digital radios. Listeners outside of Melbourne, Australia can stream Sin 9.7 online at www.syn.org.au. Thanks to Vintage Ruin for the music. Hi, this is Tomato from Flash Gun Apocalypse. Hi, I'm Enid from Girls Go. I am Phoebe Pinnock from Heaven the Axe. Hey, this is Gary Oldman of the Misfits. Hey, this is Kat Sproul from Horizon's Edge, and you're listening to The Mosh Pit on Sin FM.
Hi, this is Aina from Leopard. Hi, I'm Virginia Lilly from the band Lilly. This is Raoul from 1349. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ali from Eberhead. Hey everybody, this is Charlie Benante with Anthrax, and you are listening to the Mosh Pit on Synth. 